Okay, as promised, spring special number three. Now this one came from offshore. And what I mean by that is I drove all the way to Pennsylvania to bring this one home. And I'll never do that again. <laughs> it was a week on the road there and a week back. And I'll tell you what, them roads back there east of the Mississippi River, you know, they're bad. Way too many vehicles on them. But this guy, pretty there. He's uh, got a few wrinkles, character, got some character on it. Missing one of the parking lights. Of course, I just went all that way and got it and brought it home and haven't done a thing with it. I guess I thought I needed to corner the market. And I found out the market was bigger. I don't remember whether I said in that second one, but uh, the second one came from Arizona, which is only half as far as this one came from. That one got down to Wilcox, Arizona. But this one came from Meadville, Pennsylvania. He's got the truckomatic in him. That one's gone. You know, I may have taken it off. You know, it may be around here. Oh, that's that there is original seat cover material. That one is. Even comes with the Pennsylvania gun rack. That's pretty neat. Even got the uh, cardboard lining on the inside of the door. It's got the wheel ring, the form ring there. I think those were standard after 51. Some of them have and some of them don't. There's an old 1950s AM radio stuck in there. I'll show you something here. See? Now these, these rivets haven't been rusted yet. And I would expect that anything from offshore east of the Mississippi would be all rusted out. So the only explanation I got for that is this thing must have sat in, inside in a garage or something for part of its life because that rust back there is terrible. <laughs> Color's a little better on it. Yeah. Now the they painted this the whole the whole truck and then they came back and marked that off and painted that like that. That's how that was done. He's sitting a little lower than the other two guys, and I think the reason is, if I remember right, there's something like rusted out on the spring shackles or something like that. But he, he sits a little lower. <laughs> I'd put new suspension on these things anyway, because it doesn't it wouldn't show. You know, it wouldn't show. The suspension wouldn't show. That'd be a pretty good din in the fender got the rear windows I don't know why they backed into some they did back the tailgate into something too yeah. easy unloading bed not many boards left There you go, right rear fender tore up. Funny how that is. Pretty common. <laughs> I 
I know there's still something in here that, that you need to see. Because this is a one-of-a-kind deal that I found. There's your typical plastic Dodge broken. Now, all these trucks have this plate right here beneath the speaker plate. And this is the only one that I've ever gotten that has an ashtray and a cigarette lighter mounted in that spot. And that knob where it says ash, that matches the same writing as the rest of them. So that's probably a high dollar truck there. They paid extra for an ashtray. And a lighter. The door closes pretty good. Here's the Dodge Truck Omatic badge. There he is. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to get in the sun again, so I'm going to have to turn around. Uh, braided. Painted steel, 1953. 1953 Dodge Emblem. Sorry, that's all the 1953 Spring Specials I have. Thanks for looking. Bye.